the BJP is a party of the middle classes that got uh, economically liberated only in 1991, well, 1991 onwards. So they are unfamiliar with the Western idiom. They can't communicate with the West. Uh, uh, they don't know how to put their point across. Uh, the BJP is, itself is quite substance free and event heavy. Their idea of changing the narrative is to do a big event with lots of drums and dancers on there. It isn't to actually set up a think tank which does serious, uh, 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 you know, uh, academic work and statistics and things like that. Uh, all they realistically have to do is get the police data, which is very hard to get for an ordinary individual like me, but very easy to get for uh, them. Uh, you know, you've seen the Pew poll that showed that Indian Muslims are happier than Muslims anywhere else. Uh, uh, apparently. Uh, this government has also spent more money on Muslim education than any previous government before it, uh, and cumulatively, in fact. Uh, this government has done more for the upliftment of Muslim women than any previous government before it. And in fact, because, uh, 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 you know, a, a lot of the programs for weavers and textile makers uh, um, the majority of weavers and textile makers, at least in the north, are Muslim. So it's actually empowering them, subsidizing them and things like that. Uh, the other point we need to note is that when you say Indian Muslim, we're talking about Sunnis exclusively. We're not talking about the Shia. The Shia are at the top end of the economic ladder. Uh, their per capita income is much higher than the Hindu per capita income. Uh, they are captains of industry. They're extremely rich. They also tend to vote BJP. Uh, the many sects of the Shias. So, for example, in uh, the Twelver Jafris, which is the Iranian denomination, uh, uh, are quite heavy in Lucknow and in uh, uh, northern Kashmir and Kargil. And uh, Kargil tends to be very ambiguous and they tend to be much more BJP leaning. Uh, you look at the Daudi Bohras and the Ismailis, uh, they have a fantastic relationship with Modi. The Bora Sayyidna is on record asking his community to vote for Modi. And wherever Modi goes, the Boris are usually front in line to welcome him and things like that. So, you know, th this has been, a, I, I uh, uh, look, the BJP are just dunderheads when it comes to co international communication. I don't think they understand English. I don't think they get uh, a, an English idiom at all. Uh, it's not something to be mocked because it is the reality of India that, you know, in India, even when you have an English education, your actual comprehension and cognitive abilities in English are extremely low. Uh, it's English just in name. It's not really English. Uh, but I think for a government to be like this is inexcusable. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.